Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be covering a bunch of brand new Blender add-ons that can bring quite a lot of value to the table, from building huge cities, lighting, compositing, and much more. These add-ons are diverse, but they offer one thing in common, which is quality and speed. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're gonna start with Cityscapes from B Production, which is a very trusted developer. Cityscapes is a large library of over 96 photo scanned city assets. Yes, you heard me right. The cities are photo scanned, which ensures accuracy when trying to portray a real world location. And speaking of locations, this library covers most of the major cities of the world, like Paris, Berlin, New York, and Tokyo, as well as the 12 largest cities like Barcelona, Kyoto, and the list goes on. Now, you can probably already tell that since these assets are photo scanned, it means that you can't use them for close up shots, which I think makes sense, because technology hasn't made it far enough so that we can easily have fully scanned cities right within our computers. So putting all of that aside, these cities are meant to be used as backgrounds for your environments. And I will just renders made using these libraries speak for themselves. Using hyper-realistic image textures of 8K resolution, you are still gonna get a beautiful result when it comes to your backgrounds, which is I think what most people need. Making cities is cool and everything. But how do you make those renders even better? Of course, I'm talking about color grading and compositing. Final Light is a brand new Blender add-on that has one goal in mind, which is to help you apply various types of lights directly inside Blender without having to do any node manipulation in the compositor. The add-on comes with a variety of lights that you can choose from and preview directly in the viewport. And yes, it works directly in real time in the viewport and lets you see the effect, I mean the full effect, right within the viewport. And what I found to be useful when using the add-on is that it enables you to import an external LUT from a .q file that you can directly apply using the add-on. And to make it even more convenient, it allows you to store these custom LUTs in your library, which you can adjust and customize however you would like by adding favorites and accessing and modifying different filters and categories. Also, you can control the intensity of your light as well as the exposure right within the add-ons interface, which can be really useful. Still around the same topic, Blender Shop introduces the ability for layer-based compositing right inside Blender. And it is simply amazing that you can do this without external software for compositing because it is all in one place. I'm personally not a big fan of node-based compositing that Blender has to offer, so this is nice to have, especially since you can now add any effect just by selecting it. And what I think shines about this tool is that it enables you to mix between different effects, change the order of the opacity of your layers, and the chair on top is that you can even add a mask to each particular layer. And under every effect that you choose to add, you will get all the necessary settings that are included in the regular compositing nodes. And what I also really enjoy about this add-on is that it saves you time by enabling you to export and import your custom-made effects, which personally saved me lots of time, especially when working on renders and animations that require you to have different Blender projects, but you want the same look for all the different projects. Now, we're gonna cover something a little bit different, and this time it is cold, to say the least. Frosty Ice Tools is an awesome Blender add-on for creating all sorts of frost and ice effects, which is perfect for making your snowy environments, especially where you need lots of ice. First of all, it has everything you will need, starting with procedural ice and frustrators that you can mix with your materials for a cool and realistic look. But this is not everything. This toolset also lets you get a couple of generators to directly draw snow and ice onto your models. Also, you can add icicles and realistic snow in your model's cavity. In addition, you can add a particle system to simulate snowflakes falling that could also be affected using a wind force. And the best part is, the add-on comes with over 100 plus snow assets if you want to get the pro version. The next add-on is about something essential in any project, which is lighting. 
Quick Studio is a new add-on that simplifies the task of lighting your object by giving you lots of tools that you will need. For instance, you can simply use a preset and call it a day. But if you would like more customization options, then this is also an option. Because Quick Studio enables you to add all sorts of things, like blurred floors, shadow catchers, like gobos, as well as a light array that is fully customizable and powered using geometry nodes, which allows for some cool circular arrays and other things that you can do using it. It even takes it a step further and enables you to add those sweet looking dust particles and when paired with volumes, it just looks amazing. And if you have taken a look at the developer's presentation, you would probably think that this tool only works for cycles. But the fact is, it is compatible with EV as well. And now let's talk about something a little bit different with an add-on called Synced Modifiers. A Synced Modifiers is a simple yet super handy Blender add-on that adds a feature I think that should be built into Blender by default. The add-on also lets you add modifiers to multiple objects at once and sync them. So any changes that you make will apply to all selected objects simultaneously. Now you might think it sounds too basic to be useful, but let's compare it to what Blender offers. Normally you would have to add modifiers to each object one by one or copy them from a main object. However, even with copying, you can sync these modifiers for collective adjustments. From personal experience, synced modifiers is a must have in any workflow and using it is straightforward. After selecting your object, use just a shortcut to open the add-on spy menu, then select and add any modifier to your objects. Now you can just adjust these values collectively, seeing changes across all the selected meshes, and if you want to exclude an object, simply select it and hit the minus button in the pie menu. And now talking about updates, we have an add-on called Wooly that lets you add that bit of fuzziness and warmth to your knitted and fabric materials. I think Wooly is a beautifully crafted and fully procedural knitting shader that you can apply instantly to your meshes. And with the one point to update, it now works on UV unwrapped 3D objects, not just flat planes. And I should inform you that it isn't just a shader, it also includes a felt effect, adding a hair system that replicates the fuzziness that can be found in real fabric materials. And before you dive into this effect, just make sure that your object is properly UV'd and all the modifiers are applied. In addition, Wooly offers extensive customization, allowing you to use any image input and to adjust the global scale for more knitting lines and to tweak each axis with X and Y steps. You can also control the knitting line direction, add fuzziness, introduce distortion for variation, adjust color depth, and increase the number of threads for your knitting. Last but not least, we have Sync Blender which enables you to do something really interesting, and that is to sync different versions of Blender, especially for those who use different versions for different purposes, and this can be really handy. Using the add-on allows you to easily sync different Blender versions with each other, and what I really appreciate about the add-on is that you even get control over what you sync, like for example, I can choose to sync add-ons, bookmark presets, recent files, searches, references, startup files, and so much more. But not only that, if you are afraid of losing your data, you can also choose to back it up into a file that you can store somewhere in your hard drive for that extra feeling of safety and relief. And you can easily access it by using the restore option. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, also please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.